Stability AI has recently unveiled their latest creation, Stable Diffusion 3. But here's the catch. It's only accessible via the API. But don't worry, I'll walk you through the process of using this API to generate images right here in this tutorial. Let's see if all the buzz and anticipation surrounding this model are justified. Alrighty then. First things first, log into your account with Stability AI. Once you're in, head over to the developer platform link I've conveniently provided in the video description for you. Over there, you'll find all of their APIs, including Stable Diffusion 3. We'll dive deeper into how it functions. And then we'll copy a Python request sample from this page to get started with generating images. Next up, Click on your profile picture in the top right corner of the page to access the settings. Here, you can create a brand new API key for yourself and even copy it over for easy use. Just a heads up, generating one image using Stable Diffusion 3 will set you back a hefty 6.5 credit points. That's quite a price tag compared to other models like SDXL or SD 1.6. Keep that in mind as we move forward. Stability AI offers 25 free credits to its users, which translates to just three generated images using Stable Diffusion 3. I've gone ahead and used a few of those credits for testing purposes in this tutorial, but honestly, I think it might be worth holding off on purchasing more credits until they release the weights for this model. Great, let's kick things off by opening Visual Studio Code and creating a fresh Python file. Paste the API request sample we copied earlier into this new document. Next, open up a brand new terminal window in VS Code and install the requests package using pip by typing pip install requests and hitting enter. Once that's done, simply add your API key to the Python file and you'll be good to go. Excellent. Now that we've got everything set up, Let's test out Stable Diffusion 3 by generating an image of a dog wearing black glasses using the default prompt. If all goes well, you should see an image here in the same place where your Python file is located. Once you're satisfied with this initial result, feel free to add other parameters to control aspects like aspect ratio, seed number, and even the model itself. Just remember to replace the positive prompt and output image name in the Python file, save it, and then run it from the terminal to generate a new image. And after a few seconds, we got this image. I think we can all agree that's a pretty good result. Now let's put this model to the test with a more complex prompt involving text. All right, the fact that the text was correctly interpreted and the glass ended up in the cat's paw instead of somewhere else is a great sign that this model is in the right path. So let's keep exploring and experimenting with different prompts to see what this model can truly do. In this prompt, we are testing the precision of the model. In this instance, I specifically requested a certain type of clothing and colors and SD3 didn't disappoint. It followed exactly the instructions. In another example, the model accurately depicted the clothing and characters from left to right, up and down, just as we requested. While Stable Diffusion 3 certainly has its strengths, it's important to note that there are some limitations as well. For instance, if the model encounters an explicit image request, the resulting image may appear blurry. Additionally, using NSFW words or prompts related to sensitive topics like tight leggings or pantyhose might result in a response from the API indicating that your request was flagged in their moderation system. And that's it for today. If you have any questions or need clarification on anything we covered, feel free to leave a comment below. As always, if you found this video helpful, 
Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting content.